Hi, welcome back. I hurt my hip last night because I slept in a weird position. That's great. Kind of like <laughs> Sayori when she sleeps in every morning. Oh. God, I'm just... All I'm all I'm talking in now is that is that Mr. Cool Guy that voice. That Mr. Cool Guy voice. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. god. Wow. Okay. Eh, that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh, why that? All of a sudden. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Uh, he's gonna find the heads. I'm terrified. Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. <laughs> Only two fall, small flat coins fall out. <laughs> there was not a word I flat know. in that whole thing. Uh, I think I might be dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> This is a playthrough where we realize that you are dyslexic. When it's a game of all text, that's when it really, it's, yeah. th it's the worst. That's why we should never play visual novels, but I mean, look how cute she is. <clears throat> I could see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. I was just going to use you for your money. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I could lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry! And so that only leaves the one option. Ah! <laughs> you figured her out. I give up! Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha uh, ha ha. I cannot feel guilt. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? Uh, I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah! Jesus. I wasn't listening or anything. It was just something in my book. Sure uh, it was. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yeah. Yuri! Tell Mr. Cool Guy to let me borrow some money. That's... That's not my in responsibility. My don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, I don't have programming capabilities for this situation. Goodbye. You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. If you have no money, you cannot afford. Therefore, you must abort your mission. Can you read the fuck down? And Frank. <laughs> And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Uh. Just wait to get your drone. Did I just threaten her with a drone? I didn't mean that. That was a lie. I totally abort. meant that. I got too absorbed in my book and forgot to abort mission. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that processing. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. What? <laughs> Retribution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all of us, isn't there? Ah, ah, ah. Ah! What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, you Sayori. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I almost said Natsuki. <laughs> Plop! Kyong! Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, what was... Huh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances over. Is this a miracle? It's because I paid my restitution! Retribution. Retribution. Oh, sorry, that was your line. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ah, ha, ha, ha. 
And Natsuki! That's so nice of you! What, to smack you in the face so with a cookie? I'm so I don't know, I wouldn't be complaining if someone smacked me in the face with a cookie. You would if it hurt. Yeah, but cookie. What if I slapped you in the face with a fish? Is it cooked, or is it just like you pulled it's it out of the- a, It's just You just fish. pulled it out of the river yeah, and just slapped- Okay, just then I'd be a little upset about that. But you wouldn't be if it was cooked? Well, then I could eat it. <laughs> Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. God damn it. Fuck. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! You're so good at that because <laughs> your mouth is almost always full. <laughs> Thanks, man. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki! Can I try it? Jays. Beggars can't be choosers, mate. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine! Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, fucking her from behind under her skirt. She screams in terror. You need to stop. Let me try that again. Yeah. <laughs> Sayori gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez. Fucking cry. Get it. I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. Oh. Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. That was yeah. her plan Hi. all along. Did you seriously just do that? Oh. Mouthful, Sayori <laughs> trots away to safety. <laughs> Yuri and I laugh as well. Jays, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Where could Where? Monica be? It's a murder mystery. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Processing. Scanning. No. Nope, Monica answer. not found. <laughs> Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me! Yeah, I haven't heard either. Hmm, my database came back empty. That's a bit unusual. Usually it is stored with harmful bacteria. <laughs> I hope she's okay! Of course she's okay! She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she... She has a... Ah, ah, ah. I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined, considering I am a robot. <laughs> That's true, robot. Curious as fuck. Weird. <laughs> Excuse me. Suddenly, the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh my god, when you, that popped up, it said, sorry, I'm super sorry, but I read that as sorry, I'm super horny, and I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know, I just saw it, and I was like, please stop. Uh... <laughs> Ah, there you are, Monica. I didn't mean... Oh, I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Well, we were just about, uh, about to launch a public inquiry. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Uh, boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? Does not compute. I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Monica. You are so much more talented than me, Monica. Uh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. Yeah, nothing to be worried about. Uh, just stretching my piano muscles. <laughs> I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You should play something for us, Monica! That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yeah! <laughs> that sounds cool. I'd always also look forward to that. Fuck. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Mr. Cool Guy. Monica smiles sweetly. She knocks the other girls out the window with her imposing pose. Uh, 
I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. Oh my god. I see. In that case, best of luck. I run into the closet and start furiously masturbating. <laughs> Thanks. So, I didn't miss anything, did I? Not... not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has settled down. Sayori somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri's back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Here Why we are, she in, in the, the closet. closet. Ah! Well, that's where she keeps her manga, remember? Well, we didn't actually know that, because last time we approached her in the closet, we ended up trading poems, and we never on, actually got to the bottom of the manga on the mystery. Next, on the next episode, we'll find out why Natsuki's always in the closet. Is she gay? Possibly. Does she have manga? Find out next time. Both could be true. <laughs>